And of course, that's going to happen on Good Friday. So, let me pray, and then we will go into a discussion of the question. Are you on your journey? Eternal God, our Father, we come today in the name of Jesus, the name that you've given us whereby we might be saved, where we might come into your presence and live with you forever. Now open our spiritual eyes of understanding as we discuss your word and discuss how you sent your son in the volume of a book. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now where do we go from here? I asked you if you were on your journey and believe me, you are, we are a work in progress. We are part of a story. And for the last 2000 years, uh, there has been much controversy over the narrative of this Holy Bible. The Old Testament and the New Testament. On camera one, and that's the visual of, of the New Testament. What? 39 books. Um, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Acts, the Epistles, and Revelation. Now, they contain the Bible story of Jesus' journey from heaven to earth, in the earth, out of the earth, and back to heaven. The only place it is found is in the New Testament. Jesus' journey from heaven to earth, who sent him, why he came, what he came to do, how God was going to accomplish it, not found in the Old Testament. So, in my ministry, I don't even deal with Exodus to Malachi. And for 15 years, I've been trying to get my colleagues to do the same. But there is big money from Exodus to Malachi. Take you two or three years in seminary to learn nothing between Exodus and Malachi that's going to uh, gain you access to the tree of life that God would not allow mankind to, uh, to come close to or to eat of in Genesis 3, 23. 24. Now, God has a put in place an eternal plan. And when I skip from Luke 2.11 to Genesis 3.22 to 24 and came back to 1 Peter 1, 18 to 23, I'm following God's eternal plan. And when I get to, in the Old Testament, when I get to Genesis chapter 12, verse 3, 
in the Old Testament, when a Gentile, a non-Jewish person, gets to Genesis chapter 12, verse 3, God quit, stops dealing with you. And he doesn't resume his dealing with you, with us, Gentile, all non-Jewish people. He doesn't begin his dealing with you again until you get to Matthews. What that mean, pastor, from I mean, preacher? That means that I can skip Exodus to Malachi and will not interfere, change, or interrupt God's eternal plan. Because the Levitical priesthood and the Mosaic law is a parenthesis in the plan. Set off by commas. You know what that means. You can exclude it without changing the sentence. And you can exclude Malachi, uh, ex, uh, Exodus to Malachi and you won't change the plan. So, I want to tell you that God's plan is foolproof. And in the next episode, I'm going to tell you how you can take advantage of it. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.